people like you to make something as strange as the films you tend to choose, mm -hmm. uh, that's a big risk by then. And yet you guys don't seem that flustered about it. You seem like, I'm going to do this. You have that confidence in your own vision or your own ideas. Was that always the case, Tim? Yeah, I mean, it's confidence or stupidity or just ignorance <laughs> or whatever, but it's just kind of the desire to make what we wanted. And, and I've been lucky from the very beginning to, you know, from... You know, scissor hands. Even though they didn't really want to do it, but you know, after Batman, I got the chance to kind of just do a low-budget kind of thing. So I've been had the chance to, you know, do the things I've wanted to do. You're both very successful men working in an industry which is primarily an American industry, so, and yet you both choose to live elsewhere. You you live over here, uh, yes. more or less full time, as far as I know, and you live mainly in France. Is that right, Johnny? Yeah, in France, but also just you know, it's a pretty transient existence. Why? Uh, why is your main base in France then? Why did you choose France and not England? What, what France has done for me really is like you know, at least living in Europe has given me uh, uh, the opportunity for real uh, simplicity as far as as far as you know, raising a family, being a dad. You know, you, when we go down to a place in the south, there's no you know, there's no discussion, there's no movie talk, there's no nothing. It's just you know, literally simple and and uh, free i guess in los angeles it's so much a kind of the, the industry dominates the whole town that even I mean, schools and even restaurants when you go out, it's always there everywhere you go i mean everywhere you go and you like you like a glass of wine occasionally don't you johnny i don't mind it okay. i don't mind uh, it. <laughs> and you have your own uh, your own vineyard is that right I don't. I you don't. don't. No, they, well, the French won't allow it. I thought you had a vineyard. They don't want me to have a vineyard. Okay, and this is because you just you, you wouldn't be able to grow it. Uh, they just want you to keep drinking their I'll stuff. I'd probably never leave. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you guys uh, hang out together or see each other much when you're not working together? I mean, we've talked about about your your home life. Uh, you're here uh, in the UK now. You're living with Helen, as you said, yeah. Helen Bonham Carter, and you have uh, two children. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful children. Uh, do you guys sort of go see each other much? Do you hang out? Do you socialise? Do you, do you bond? Do you go drinking, bowling? Do you go fishing? Do you do any of those things? Shopping? shopping? Forgot ice dancing. Yeah. Ice dancing. Synchronised yeah. swimming. Oh, Synchronised swimming. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, no. I mean, when we work, we see each other all the time. Yeah. Well, when, I mean, if we have to be in the same place or something like that. We'll do you, do you holiday somewhere. together ever? I don't even holiday with my own family, so <laughs> you'd really be in trouble if I holiday well, you know, with him. Yeah, but it's, it's just, just a phone call Jeez. away, Tim. Just phone him up and say, hey, we're thinking of going to Santa Park or somewhere. What are you doing? I'm sorry, holiday oh, kids. I'm off to the Bahamas with Joe. Yeah. No, I'm not yeah. saying you should go alone with him and his family and leave yours at home. I'm saying both groups of family book, you'd probably get a better rate and go and stay somewhere together. <laughs> Um, but I imagine it would be kind of like, uh, not, not like working, but it would be a continuation of, of work if you were away together. You would find yourself talking about those kind of things. Well, we'd probably develop like strange things like, you know, like Martin Landau's Hot Tub. Oh, yeah, we, like yeah, TV we, shows. We've dreamed up TV shows. Yeah. Okay, Martin Landau, of course, worked with you both in, in the Ed Wood movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what was the idea for the Hot Dog TV show? We'll just have show? A, like a, talk a talk show. show. We talk might show. want to do it, but with, in a hot tub. Wherever the guest comes in, guest comes in the hot tub. naked in the hot tub. Yeah. Well, I'm up for it. <laughs> uh, so when you uh, sit down together, or when you pitch on it to Johnny, do you see pretty much eye to eye? Because it's unusual that uh, a couple who've worked together on so many films are still friendly, are still prepared to work together. I mean, most, you know, most directors I know, eventually, they hit a wall with their, with their leading actors and vice versa. You're on the same page pretty much all the time? Yeah, I mean, oddly, like, you know, like, even... When it comes down to, you know, script notes and stuff like that, if we we'll sit down and talk about the character or talk about a scene and uh, we'll compare script notes, and there, there have been times when, when they've been, like, identical, you know, or, or, or the notes on the page. Um, and then the approach to the character, like, with the Mad Hatter, for example, I had this weird little uh, watercolor that I'd done of what I thought he should look like, and then I brought it to Tim, and, and Tim had his drawings, and it was like, they, they were very, very close, you know. So, and how, and how is Tim as a director? How communicative is he as a director? Because I'm led to believe that you're not the most verbal director when it comes to giving notes and advice and guidance on, on set. Yeah, he isn't, but I mean, at the same time, he knows exactly what he wants, and there's, a, there's an incredible shorthand that somehow developed or actually happened right away on Edward Scissorhands, where it's, it could literally be, you know, he could turn his head that way or kind of you know, do something with his hands and you go, oh, yeah, yeah, I get it. You know what he meant. I know, I know what he So wants. almost like the way uh, very close family members communicate, or twins, you kind of know what each other's... It must be kind of frustrating for people who are left out. Do they pretend they know what you want and then get it tragically wrong sometimes? There was a lot recently where people just... They, we just heard you guys talking, we didn't know what... The
you guys were talking about for about <laughs> half an hour, you know? It was yeah. like... A group, a group came up to me and said that. He said, I just listened to you and Tim speak, have this conversation. He says, I have no idea what you were talking about. <laughs> uh, That's why it takes two of us to go on a talk show, because maybe one <laughs> sentence will come out. Together, we'll get, we'll get some sense out of it. Uh, I read uh, a couple of people who work with you. I guess they're the producer behind the scene. Uh, they, they believe that uh, the characters you play on screen are kind of Tim on screen. You're like his alter ego on screen. And, and you don't see it that way, is that why? No, I, I think you, as you, when you do something, you try to, you know, see, make it yourself. But the thing is, you know, you just put a little bit of that in there because the actors are the ones doing it. So that's why it's a collaboration. I mean, he's the one that's doing it. So, you know, He's got a lot of him in there. There's maybe some things that I feel in there, and you know that's what the artistic collaboration's all about. So. But do you think that you're kind of acting out his personality on screen any of the time? No, no. I mean, I, no, not really. I mean, I think you know, 